Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are making this delicious three cheese mac and cheese. So good, easy to make. I add a special ingredient that makes it over the top. Let me show you how to make it. Let's make our cheesy bechamel sauce. Place a medium saucepan over medium heat. Add butter. There we go. And let your butter melt. Our butter is melted. Add in your flour. And you want to whisk and stir until it forms a paste. Now we add in our spices. We have some salt. I'm using white pepper, but if you have black pepper, use black pepper, but it's up to you. <laughs> um, some garlic powder and some mustard powder. Now, I didn't have enough mustard powder. I usually like to add in one tablespoon, so in the end, in my sauce, I will be adding in just some plain yellow mustard. Let's add in a grating of fresh nutmeg and grate. This already smells fabuloso. Now we add in our milk. And stir. Woo. We're going to be adding in a variety of dairy here. Now we're going to add in our heavy cream. And keep stirring. And now we're going to add in our evaporated milk. Now we add in our second can. This one didn't want to open, so. Make sure you make a mess all over your stove like I did. And now keep stirring until your mixture comes up to a simmer. Then it's going to bubble and you're going to keep stirring as it thickens up. Then I'll show you the next step. Keep stirring. While we are making our bechamel sauce and stirring constantly, you want to bring a pot up to a boil. So just make sure you add some water, lots of salt, just like I am. Bring it up to a boil and then we're going to throw in our pasta and we're going to cook till al dente. Do not overcook your pasta. When our bechamel sauce is ready for the cheese, I'm going to be adding in some old cheddar and some aged cheddar, some white aged cheddar. And I'm also going to be adding in some Parmesan cheese. Now you want to make sure that you buy some good quality cheeses so your mac and cheese tastes really good. So I'm going to shred this up and then we're going to wait for our bechamel sauce to come up to a boil. And also make sure that you don't buy the pre-shredded <laughs> and also make sure you don't buy the pre-shredded cheese because those are horrible. So buy the good stuff. My sauce has come up to a bubble as you can see here. And now I'm going to stir for another 30 seconds and I'm going to turn my stove top off at that time. And then we are going to add in our cheeses. Now you're going to need about five cups of cheese, but you want to reserve about half to three quarters of a cup from the five cups to place on top of our Mac. So you want to be sure to reserve some for the end. First I'm going to add my Parmesan, so I'm just going to add it all in here and stir. Now I'm going to slowly add in my old cheddar and stir as I go. Now we add in our white aged cheddar. Water's boiling, add in your pasta. For the first couple of minutes, just go in and give it a stir. Make sure everything is loose. 
and not sticking to the pan. Don't overcook it. Our pasta's cooked to al dente. Now I've already closed my stove top. I'm going to drain my pasta and then we're going to mix it with the sauce. Now I drain my pasta and now I'm going to add in my sauce. Now we mix our pasta and the sauce gently and carefully. And make sure you have your oven preheating to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and that you have a 9 by 13 inch baking dish that has been greased with some nonstick spray all ready. I'm going to be adding in some yellow mustard. You can also use some Dijon if you run short. It just adds some great flavor. You guys have no idea how delicious this already tastes. Now we sprinkle the cheese that we reserved. Perfect timing. Now we're going to place our ooey gooey mac and cheese <laughs> into the oven, preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're going to leave it in there for about 20 minutes or so. You'll notice the cheese is starting to bubble and crisp along the edges. I'll let you know how long mine was in the oven for and what it looks like. <laughs> and what it looks like when it's done. My mac and cheese was in the oven for 20 minutes and now it's bubbling, it's hot, it's gorgeous. I'm just going to wait a few minutes and then we are ready to serve and try it. Let's try it. I need to go eat my mac and cheese. You need to make this. You're gonna love it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.